hello everyone welcome back to my little channel how's everybody doing so this video i recorded a couple weeks ago i think it's been like two weeks but i didn't want to post it because of nails that i'm gonna be using sold out so freaking fast and um i was like okay girl if i post it now then everybody's gonna be asking me like girl when are you restocking and then zule barely has enough time to answer her email so i was like okay I'm going to post this video when they're coming back. So, girlfriend, they are going to be restocking tonight at 7 p.m. I'm going to try my best to post this video as soon as possible. But if you are in another state, it's 7 p.m. California time. Although my whole shipment didn't arrive, if you don't get to get some this time, another shipment is coming. Because these are in very high demand as they do not have C-curve, bitch. Yes, girl, you heard it correctly. No C-curve. So you could definitely use these nail tips for taper square. Since they do run a little wider than your regular coffin. So um, you could definitely achieve the coffin. But if you want to do the taper square, just go one size bigger. Or um, just do not file the sides until you apply the acrylic. So right here, I'm just showing you. Um, damn girl, I feel like I'm I'm fucking wrapping over here. I'm showing you that I'm putting the glue on to the little nail tip, and I'm testing this brush on um, glue. It's the same glue from the squeeze bottle. I'm just trying to see if it's a better option as a brush on. As you know, sometimes we be making a hot mess. Well, at least I do. <laughs> I'm used to just applying it with a brush. I've been doing that for many years, so I get a little out of control when I squeeze it. So this is what they look like. Girl, don't they look fucking fire? Like, I don't know about regular square, but this shape be looking good on me. At least that's what I think. And even sexier at this length. So if you want some 2XL nails for your clients, you don't want to put a double tip. Girl, these nail tips are for you. So I'm showing you right here, no C-curve, honey, no C-curve whatsoever. I know every time I get a new tip, I say this is my new fave, but girl, these I feel are going to be my ultimate favorite because they are the length that I love. Well, maybe these are slightly longer than the ones that I normally wear, like just a tad bit, but it just facilitates your work. Like I cannot keep telling you guys enough, like... Try to work smarter, not harder. I know the pre-shaped nail tips are a little bit more pricey than the regular basic ones, but it does save you a lot of more time and um, arm muscle, I guess you can say. Um, and in the long run, you are going to notice it in your wrist. Like, for example, myself, when I started, there was no fucking... Um, pre-shaped nail tips any shape that we did we had to do it with a fucking square nail and if we wanted a super long nail like this we had to add double it up and sometimes some nail tips are like a lot harder to work with when you're doubling them especially when they're curved so shaping wise is just it's just a pain in the ass and the more years that you continue to do the filing the excessive filing especially if you work 10 12 hour days all that filing, you're going to start to feel it into in your wrist. I didn't believe it until like three years into doing nails. My wrist would hurt at the end of the day. And ain't nobody got time for that shit, girl. Um, if, if you have long nail clients and they want a specific um, design, length, shape, whatever the fuck, then I recommend for you to invest in pre-shaped nail tips. I mean, these... For short clients, I recommend just using the normal because no matter what tip you use on a short client, you're going to, once you cut it, it already turns square or coffin. So I guess it's only for longer nail clients. And trust me, even if it does cost a little bit more than the normal tip, it's worth it. Coming from experience, girlfriend. So I already went ahead and glued on the nails. Now I'm going to be doing my um, priming so the white top is a bondade which um is a nail dehydrator and this balances your ph levels it's really important for you to apply nail dehydrator second i'm putting the nail primer this one is acid base just in case you guys are like what the fuck why is there three 
Um, so this one does go on the whole nail. Just try to not put it on your skin. So normally I leave like a little centimeter away from my cuticle area because it does kind of spread out. So um, just do that. Look, I'm showing you right here that I didn't put it all the way to my cuticle, but it's slowly flowing. And lastly, I'm going to be using my no burn, no acid primer. This one has no acid like the label states and this one does stay tacky so I like to use it in this exact um como se dice? in I had a brain fart guys but you know what I mean I I like to use it like that first second third because I like it when it has a little tacky surface and so I'm gonna be using the new color girl my blue puppy and the blue hydrangea or however the hell you fucking pronounce it and i'm using my number 12 um um what is it called unicorn girl i'm fucking hungry right now i can't even think so whenever i do any kind of glitter or solid colors i always go in there with a very very light um layer of clear acrylic most of the time i don't show this part but i always 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 do it unless it's going to be nude or clear then I do not do this step um, the reason why I do it is because you do not want the pigment or the glitter to stain the nail I mean glitter doesn't really stain but I just feel like it adheres a lot better to the nail also don't forget to subscribe to my little channel and give me a little thumbs up if you really like this video I know I have been a little MIA lately but girl you know this YouTube thing is like a whole nother job that doesn't pay <laughs> That doesn't pay very well. So I have to do the other jobs that do pay my rent or whatever first before I get to do this hobby of mine. Um, but I really appreciate everybody that comes and shows me some love, even though you guys are just watching. Thank you. Thank you, everybody who takes the time to give me a little thumbs up and drop me a little comment each and every time. I do try my best to look at my comments whenever I do um, post the video. But I only have enough time in the world to do all of that, you know, porque luego me divorcian a la chingada. My hubby be like, girl, are you always on your phone? Like, mom, you're always on the phone. And it's like, I'm, with, I'm trying to respond to my host. But you guys know how that señora life be going. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be um, posting um, about my giveaway that I mentioned on the other video. I'm going to be giving away a full... My new full collection and a few other little goodies. So stay tuned. And um, pretty much this video is just the acrylic application on my nails. The other part, the decor and all that, I ended up going live because I was kind of like, not depre, but I was sad. And I was like, you know what? I need to get a little entertained. I want to talk to somebody. And so I decided to go live. So if you haven't checked out that video, definitely go and check it out. I know it is like a whole hour long, but whenever I do my nails on live, it just takes me extra long to finish. But I feel like it's a good video because I do interact with my little viewers. So they do ask me questions and then I go ahead and answer them in there. So go check it out. I think I posted that like two weeks ago. Um, But I'm trying my best to bring out more little videitos but you know i already told you guys que me voy a trabajar on the weekends i work at the salon and my commute is not the nicest i spend about three to four hours on the road just to go do some fucking nails and then i have to come and work to fulfill these orders you know still have time for my little youtubers so please be patient with this home girl as she is a little chicken without a head every day but you know what i love it i wouldn't want it any other way um i don't know what else to tell you guys but um this nude acrylic is one of my favorites from my online store it's the cover pink nude i just love it it's my fav 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 favorite one because it's like really natural and i feel like it goes with any color and if you haven't already seen, though, um, girl, we got a new monomer up in here. So it does dry a lot faster than the smooth set monomer. So if you're ready for a faster setting acrylic, I mean, yeah, faster setting, then I would 
definitely recommend that you try it. It is specifically made for, um, well, okay, let me rephrase that. It's not just made for dip powders because dip powders are acrylic, but it's formulated for them so that they can speed up the drying time. But you can use it with any acrylic. It will work the same. Um, let me know if you do purchase it, how you like it. I, I don't know if it's a little stronger than the smooth set. I feel like it kind of is, but maybe I'm tripping. And just because I'm going to get my period, I smell everything like 10 times or whatever. But TMI, girlfriend. Um, let me know how you guys like these nail tips, girlfriend. Because, girl, look at this. Ooh, so sexy. So beautiful. Okay, I need to get my ass back to work because then somebody's gonna be like, Silly, where's my order? And I'm over here fucking not working. My husband tells me, like, man, I will so fire you. You get so distracted with your phone or whatever when I'm responding to a customer or doing some Instagram post. And I'm like, well, I'm so lucky I'm the boss. I can't get fired. But I do get hella distracted. So okay, Zulay, get back to work before you get fired, fired for real. All right, bye, everybody. Hope you have a wonderful day, evening, night, morning, wherever you are in the world. Thank you very much for watching my little videitos. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I feel like I ran a whole fucking mile over here. All right, bye, bye, bye.